thank you for your patience. Welcome everyone to episode two of Drama 2496 sixth annual live improvised soap opera. This year we are in the home of Mayor John Doe. Last time we discovered that just before the party being given in his honor, Mayor Doe was shot and killed. But by who? Everyone seemed to have something against him. But who had the nerve to take things into their own hands? Let's do a quick recap. The mayor's wife, Kasha, and the detective, Claudius Kane, hired by the mayor to find out who had been painting his wife's nails, seemed to have a romantic history. Kasha's man-loving daughter, Cookie, found a gun, and more than one man. Dr. Sawyer Bones had a reunion with his nephew, businessman Ian Michael Porter. Cash's sister-in-law, Connie Deer, showed up with revenge on her mind. Banker Landon Shark formed some new alliances. Homeless shelter resident Joe Bless found his brother. Pro golfer Lion Forrest. Lion found Anita, a girl who wants to be more than his fan. And the mayor kept showing up, dead and in dreams. And someone else has been shot. But who? Let's take a small step back in time just before the shot rang out and meet our cast of characters. He's a man who's committed to finding out the truth. He's a man who wants to know the facts. He's a man who is, in fact, and truly, mixed up in a confusing batch of cookie dough. It's Detective <laughs> Lion's game. Sorry, we've not stopped talking. About 18 years and nine months. I just don't get it. Like, what could have happened 18 years and nine months ago? I mean, something about making cookies, but I don't remember making cookies. <laughs> I don't think I've ever baked cookies before. <laughs> yeah, baked. <laughs> oh, oh well, I'll have a bigger fish to fry. This whole John Doe thing. Very frustrating. I better get to the bottom of it. To the very bottom of it. I'm not gonna tell you folks, but it looks like this VIP is R.I.P. <laughs> she revealed that she is part of the Doe family, but there certainly doesn't seem to be any love lost. And she isn't above asking for help to get what she wants. Say hello to Connie Deer Doe. A deer. A female deer. No, Connie Deer Doe. <laughs> As we know, Doe is dead. <laughs> pity for some. Not quite pity for all. But still in my heart I feel, I feel the need for, for revenge. Peter, sweet revenge. So, someone, someone will be at the end of this. Who? <laughs> Dirty and gross looking and carrying a cooler? 
<laughs> I have a caddy, he carries my golf clubs, but you should never have to carry your own stuff. But it could be quite an eventful evening. I'm stuck in this house and my sponsor's dead, which is good now because now we can't cancel my sponsorship. So I think that's all right. <laughs> the shelter where he's been living has been closed, but he's recently been reunited with his famous brother. So will things go more smoothly for our poor homeless homeless man? Let's check in with Joe Bless. <laughs> Left off. 
is late at night. Darkness and quiet has settled over in the doorhouse. Suddenly, a shot rings out. Wow. <laughs> a frantic cookie dough rushes out of the room and stumbles over the body of Dr. Sawyer Bones. <laughs> It's 
<laughs> he is. I agree. Yes, but so who is my dad? Oh, that, that's the funny thing. Um, you have to understand. I was 18, 18 years ago, and <laughs> I know. Yes, I know what it's like to be 18. Oh, I know, I know. Um, well. But I feel like I'm not going to like what you're about to say. Well, I, you see, I have to understand, I moved into a new town, and I, I didn't really know anybody, and I, I knew your father, like we were dating, but um, I wanted to go have some fun at a party, and... Uh, Quit making excuses, I know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you know? I guess you won't. <laughs> um,
Well, I got 
Oh, sure. Your husband's dead and there's no napkins. That's three things. Yes. <laughs> we have plenty. Yes. Yes, we do. I think that about balance is it. That's what I might. Uh, well, it depends how much of the booze you consumed, but regardless. Doctor. Yes. I know you know something that I wish you didn't know. Well, yes, human anatomy is kind of terrifying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's not about... <laughs> I guess it is about anatomy, but... <laughs> Doctor, I... I can't have you telling anyone about the DNA test you took. On who? I do those fairly regularly. <laughs> On my little cookie. You generally don't have DNA baked goods. Oh, <laughs> my daughter. Oh, yes, that cookie. Yes. Um, well, that, 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 that's a matter of doctor-patient confidentiality, so it's the results of that test were available only to the person who uh, commissioned it, so he's dead. He has a copy as well. Well, had, he's dead. <laughs> well, we do live in the same house. Did he did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has a copy of the report I gave it to him. Yes, um. But what does it do him? You already knew. Ah, uh, yes, I didn't know. I didn't want. I didn't want him to know. Well, clearly, otherwise he wouldn't have had to get a DNA test done. But really, she's never looked anything like him. But she's. I thought that maybe enough traits from me would have gone to her and. What you planned this? Plan? I was just hoping for the best. Ah, I see, an optimist. <laughs> oh, oh. Do you want anything for that? Um, no, I've got my liquid Advil and my bandage inexplicably under my suit. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors in the town? Well, yes, it's Dr. Wimmerton. I usually go to him, but he's off in Jamaica or Hawaii or something. Hmm. Going to visit some place called the Kokomo, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, I pride myself on being professional. Yeah, I'm happy. Yes. For now. Joe Bess is in the living room, filling his cooler one candy at a time. <laughs> Is 
kind of fake to me. <laughs> Would you like a, a chocolate? No, not these. Andrews. She 
have a drink, and the three of them decide to do the macarena. <laughs>
what can I do to fix this situation? If I make a business deal and get on, get on the inside, find more about Ian Michael Porter's business, maybe I can turn myself around. I won't have to dress like a homeless man. Suddenly, a Nita man frantically rushes in holding something she found in the snow. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Can you believe this? Somebody was paying uh, for us to go to the my money, but would you like my scarf? No! Who was paying cops and robbers without me? It wasn't me. I have such good aim. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> 
A nervous Claudius Kane enters with something on his mind. Someone just shot and hit me, I don't know. 
Maybe it's a problem here, cloak of invisibility. It doesn't tell me invisible, but yes, actually. Oh, <laughs> I don't see it. Ah, well. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Are, are you sure you should be up? <laughs> no, it's not much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any blood is, is good. You are generally not. <laughs> I think we should get you to a hospital. I'm... Of course, I'll send me to my own office, I'll operate. <laughs> can you? No. <laughs> not well enough, we'll have to wait until I'm better so I can save my own life. <laughs> How long will that take? I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Joe decides to have a frank conversation with the doctor. Doc? Yes, Joe. The homeless shelter? Yes. Do you know why the mayor was rezoning it? Because he's a dunce. He's a dunce. 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 The pen. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and presumably he was getting money out of it or something. I heard he's been having financial troubles with that uh, shark person. Financial? Is, is that so? Yes. Some sort of dirty business dealing. And that, that's quite interesting, actually. Is, is that everything you know about the rezoning of the homeless shelter? <laughs> well, well, the rezoning of the homeless shelter, yes. About dirty dealings, well, <laughs> I've lived a long life. Well, is there anything else then? Well, if you want to know more about whoever wanted that breeze home, I suggest you talk to Mr. Shark. Seeing as he's the mover and shaker behind most of the uh, business dealings in this city. <laughs> Landry Shark? Yes, that one. Maybe I'll have to have a word with him. Yes. That's probably a good idea. Do, do you need something for a uh, chocolate or uh, well, I think I'm good, so I just <laughs> lie down. <laughs> need some help. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you for coming again. <laughs> oh. Well, at least we get short this time. Yeah. Two is good enough. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Joe, where'd you go? I'm over here. Oh, oh well. There's this space over here, I guess. I... Oh. But really, the, the, the homeless shelter is such a shame. And I don't know. Oh, they're taking my office with it, so. Yeah. I guess we're in the same boat, except that I'm richer than you. <laughs>
Okay, you know what um, Cookie wants to be a detective when she grows up? Yep. Uh, I think it's genetic. Oh yeah, I found out the other day she's my daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a word. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of awkward topic. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think you ever told me. Um, I don't know when I really found out. I always kind of questioned it in the back of my mind. But, right. Um, it's when she started to play, uh, so probably 16 years ago. No. Wow, you've kind of been holding out on me. Um, I didn't want to stress you out, and I thought you're the detective and everything, and I wasn't sure if it was. I didn't know we have a fleet for 18 years. 18 years and nine months, actually. <laughs> and counting. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Connie Dear Doe enters and asks to speak to Kasha alone. You're not. Like singing, but for some reason a song isn't 
coming. <laughs>
actually even that the day when we went golfing, that that evening, um, that shortly before you got noticed in the golf world, um, when we were golfing, I. <laughs> It's all right, she's just crazy. Crazy, crazy in love! <laughs> yes, so you were, you said you were in a deal with Michael Porter, and then I thought you were doing good, and then you just all of a sudden lost all your money. Michael Porter, he's my best friend. Yeah. Oh, wow, you just are just best friends with everybody. Well, how can you not love me? <laughs> I can think of a couple. <laughs> so did he? Did he screw you over? What happened? I thought he was a good guy, and I, I know he's... Well, that's, that's what I thought at the beginning of the business deal as well. But by the end of it, I ended up like this on the street. No house, no car, yeah. no money. Dr. Sawyer holds enters and tells him he thinks Kasha and Cookie may be in danger. Easy. 
Not my problem. My one is not that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really need to be pulling out some money for the funeral. <laughs> yeah, very funny. But no. <laughs> <laughs>
fish. With this job, maybe I can help you. I think you can. <laughs>
ways of our relationships came the mayor, Cookie, relationships in general. Actually, 
Thanks to the SA for the use of furniture. Have a great day. See you on Thursday. Stay